Hey everyone, Catherine King here. Excuse the hair, I was out laying in the sun. Got me a little bit of sun today. So um, summer is, for Oregon, it's about halfway over. We tend to stay pretty warm, Ugh, itchy, pretty warm into September. I am a summer girl. I, yeah, I do like, you know, seeing the changes and that kind of stuff, but for me, I'm a summer girl. So I, I like the heat, I like summer, so I am here for it. We're going to go through my empties. That's a lot. So, um, first off the bat, we're gonna do my Island Margarita Vanilla Bean Candle. There is still a hint of scent in here, but as you can see, I do put it in the crock, so, I mean, it's just a hint, but not enough to scent in here. So, ugh. and this is where I keep the litter box. So I do like this area, it's pretty scented. Um, this is also a pass-through room for me. Now the candle I have in right now is still going strong. It's a new one from Bath and Body Works. Some mango candle, I don't know, but there is a floral note to it. So the first I'd say four days of it. Um, I smelled it throughout the house. That's how powerful that candle was. So once it's dead and gone, we'll go ahead and talk about that one. But it's in the crock right now. Um, okay, so let's go ahead. Let's see if we can do our Scentsy first. I'll pull all my bags out. Um, Tim is laying down, so I thought I would do this really quick. So, sometimes on the weekends, he this is his time to um, you know catch up on some rest. He's out there watching, well, he's resting, but also watching uh, Bar Rescue. We love that show. Okay, so I don't know how Susan goes through so much hand soap. I'll be honest. I'm the only one who uses hand soap here. Tim uses Dawn dish detergent. So anyway, so I finally finished this. It's Georgia peach. There is a touch left in the bottom, you can see, but not enough to get out. But Georgia peach was delightful. I thought it was fantastic. So one foaming hand soap down, 10,000 left to go. Um, all right, Scentsy. As you know, Scentsy is not my priority right now. It's trying to get down my quantity of vendor wax, which I really should be concentrating on Scentsy considering how much I ordered in the warehouse sale. Um, I calculated the bars I got that I went through yesterday was only 53 bars. That's actually not terrible. My quarterly club right now is sitting at 50 bars. Excuse me, I already took out my my fall winter stuff, three. Took three out and I added nine. So I got some serious issues here. So anyway, um, yeah. Um, I'll let you know what I'm going to be concentrating on starting in August. Well, I'm going to start tomorrow, but. All right, so first one, I finished off birthday wishes. I got this in the round robin. Um, it's a good one. Um, I had it for a while on my club, used it up. I now have birthday wishes in my club and I do really like that one. Okay. Daydream Oasis. This is a pass through scent or, um, in the bathroom for me. Cause it's just way too, uh, sorry, way too much for my nose, but it is a nice, pretty scent. So we've got that, uh, watermelon patch. Oh, I love this. It's so good. I don't know where I got the green note. The first time I wore this, it was like two or three, bring back my bars ago, they had this. And I thought it had a green note and I fell in love with watermelon mint, of which I just purchased 10. But I found I absolutely love watermelon pack, so I'm glad I have that in my club. I finished off a jammy time, my first time ever using jammy time. Um, it is very florally. Um, I had this going in my laundry room, so I thought that was nice. Uh, Paradise Petals. I finished this off in the waiting room at work. And it's, it's a, to me, it's an orange floral. Yeah. 
that's how I would say, an orange floral. I thought it was very lovely. I believe it was new last spring, summer, didn't come back, something like that. Okay, and then the last one, Huckleberry Sage. I got this also in the round robin. I have a couple left of these in my collection. Um, it's a nice scent, but it's just not strong for me. So it wasn't, I know it's a rowberry staple, but for me, it's not strong enough to, to take up space in my club. Um, I had apple cherry strudel in there. That one obviously doesn't last long, but when it's going, it's, it's killer, right? Um, this one from start to finish, I don't really smell much. So while it might be a good scent. I'm not going to use up, <laughs> obviously I have expanded my club, but I'm not going to take up real estate in my club for something that just doesn't really perform for me. All right. These, there is, oh, this is seriously, this is right up there with cocoa lime when it comes to my favorite summer scent. This is pink rhubarb sugar. And I'm going to, um, I have a lot of rewards right now and cause I'm my best shopper. And so all my shopping, I go against my own shopping link. So it's, it's nearly a thousand dollars right now. Cause I just keep piling things in when I order. I want to stock up on certain pods that I really enjoy in my car. Now, this still has just a hint of scent in it. And I'm just hesitant to get rid of it, but it's not enough to scent my car. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. There is a new tabletop diffuser coming out in the new catalog, which I am stoked about. I will be getting that straight away. Um, so I might save it to see if I can get a little bit more eked out of it using a tabletop diffuser at work. I don't know. I mean, I can always plug into my laptop, you know, and use the mini fan diffuser. But anyway, I took out of the bathroom at work. Um, blue Grotto, Blue Agave and Melon. And then over the litter box I had going Jammy Time. Um, so replacements over the litter box right now. I have Apple and Cinnamon Sticks. It's not strong, but it's there. I have Huckleberry Hideaway in the bathroom at work and by the sea. So one in a stall door and one um, at the entranceway. And I had uh, an air or a um, room spray in there in cocooing coconut, which is a headache inducer for me. So I thought that would be a great place to have it. Had a little sticker on it that says shake well, point to the ceiling, right? I had someone come and buy it off of me. So I sold it to her for like five bucks because it had been used. I don't know how many times, but I mean, it just goes to show that some people are honest and aren't just going to take it. They actually came and bought it off me. And she's actually a really awesome pipe fitter. So um, anyway, okay, let's get started with my vendor wax. That's all I got through on Sensi's. Like I said, not really focusing on Sensi. I'm trying to get my vet vendor wax collection down. So um, I am trying out a new vendor, Ebony and Ivory. And so far I have... And I hate to say it because she is a friend of Maggie's, but I have not been having any luck with Ebony and Ivory. And I don't know if it's the scents I chose or the air conditioner, because we have a window air conditioner, if that's what's doing it. So I am going to buy again once we get more into the fall winter scents, basically the fall scents, because those seem to, because they're spices and bakery and those kinds of things they seem to hold up a little bit better so what I did the other day was her watermelon twist with watermelon lemonade yes two fairly I would say light kind of scents so um there is uh, a different kind of a an undertone to the wax that I notice these were really good I think for me personally, I prefer the watermelon twist over the watermelon lemonade. The lemon watermelon lemonade, I wish had more lemonade. I like that intense lemonade um, kind of note in it. But this has tart cherry, sparkling lemonade, lemon zest, watermelon, and sugar for the watermelon twist. And that was nice. Just wasn't strong enough for me. Um, at work, I've been just kind of getting through different shot cuts, cups that I have. 
Um, so this is PB and J by um, Up North Creations. And it was good. It was definitely peanut butter and jelly for sure. And then Coffee Concessions by Midnight Daydream Wax Company. It's Snickerdoodle Coffee or Snickerdoodle Dough and Vanilla Coffee. And it was good. It's more, it's more Snickerdoodle Dough than coffee. So if if you're looking for a coffee with that one, you're not going to get it. So it's a it's a Snickerdoodle scent for sure. Um, I just put in here <laughs> pretzel. Um, and I got this as a sample, I believe, when I got my ebony and ivory. So I have that in. And I did lime mojito at work from ebony and ivory. And it was really nice, just not strong enough for me. Um, and then also Yummer's Delight. She sells these sometimes a dollar, dollar twenty-five. So this is let's kick it. Uh, to me, it's just a really intense fruity scent. I don't know what the scent notes are. It's just really fruity, and it was it was really nice. Okay, so my focus this month. Let's see if I have some non. I probably do. Oh, another ebony. And, oh, yes. This one was actually very good. I did this at work. Ebony and Ivory Orange Dream Cake wasn't very strong, but it had a really delicious orange cake scent to it. Um, I would just put it in two warmers to kind of amp up the, the scent. So that one did have a very good scent to it. All right, let's get through some Sassy Girl. I am finally now into... I think I'm April of 2022, so that's almost a year. So I figure I, I'm at a good spot that I can move on to another vendor. So um, I'll get by. Wow, Am amazing. This is birthday cake, zucchini bread, toffee, tiny chocolate, buttercream, creamy, fluffy vanilla cake, which is cakes at Tiffany's. So it's birthday cake, zucchini bread, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. Amazing. Uh, amazing. So I did that one, right? And then I happen to have in my collection I'll Get By With Bread. So I have I'll Get By, amazing. I'll Get By With Bread, also amazing. So this adds cornbread to the mix. Both of these rock stars, a definite repurchase. Most things, I would say probably most things I order from Sassy Girl are repurchases because it seems to perform so well in my house that I'll, I'll just keep buying the ones that stand out. So the one I have going today... Um, oh no, this was yesterday. Last, no, this was yesterday morning, maybe. Oh gosh, I don't know. Anyway, um, pink sugar cookies. And this is cotton, no, this wasn't yesterday. Cotton candy, lemon drops, caramel, raspberry jam, musk, and fre uh, fresh baked sugar cookies was delicious. You get that cotton candy sweetness. I don't get lemon drops. Um, I don't know if that's pink sugar or, you know, if that makes this pink sugar. I don't know, but you get this cotton candy with cookies and it was so delicious. Um, pink key lime pie. And this one is pink sugar key lime pie crust. This one did not actually perform all that well for me. I do get the pink sugar in here. Not really any I mean, here I can smell it, but warming it, I didn't really get much key lime out of this one. So this one probably would not be a repurchase for me. It just didn't perform like I wanted it to. Um, finished in the bedroom, Cat Scratch Fever. It's one of my favorite bedroom ones. It's peppermint and sinus relief. Always good. Um, this one I got because of my beautiful friend, Ashley. It's Meyer's Return. Um, she had sent me... Um, a couple little cubes to, to try it out. It's black licorice with lots of anise and sweetened with gooey marshmallow and fresh baked cookies. Um, there was a rip in the side of the bag that I think I caught too late because it wasn't very strong. I could smell it and I decided that maybe Meyer's Return isn't really for me. So 
Um, another beautiful scent, blueberry pumpkin cornbread. She has one of my, no, I'd say she has my favorite blueberry, hands down. Her blueberry in different things um, is, is really good too. I don't know if I have it in here, but she does have my absolute hands down favorite blueberry blend of all time. But um, blueberry pumpkin cornbread is fantastic. It's, it's fantastic. It's pumpkin pecan waffles blueberry cornbread, vanilla bean Noel, and it's delightful. It's so delightful. Love it. This one, red bubbles. Didn't last very long. I did, this one I did yesterday, and I'll tell you what I followed it up with um, once it wore out. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, Okay, Red Bubbles is strawberry bubblegum and cotton candy. So a fairly light scent. It didn't re last real long, so I traded it out. And I should have just let my morning melt keep going, but I like to change my wax in the morning. Oh my gosh, guys, elderberry zucchini. She has an amazing elderberry. I love elderberry. There's something about the richness of the elderberry scent that is heaven. Oh, I can still smell it in my bag, in the bag. You know how sometimes you go to sniff the bag and you don't smell anything this? Oh my gosh. So she has to order, or she has to do this one again. Elderberries, cotton candy, zucchini bread. So elderberry, zucchini, hands down, one of my absolute favorite elderberry blends. It's amazing. Uh, next, purity. I'm doing this one today. So I figured it's Sunday. I thought it was kind of funny. Anyway, sweet strawberry, ripe bananas with creamy zucchini and moist birthday cake. It's really good. At first, when it first starts coming on, it's it's banana. Um, now it just is kind of a, a sweet cake kind of scent in the air. It's not real strong. I could probably go change it out. Act, hell, I could probably go put my elderberry zucchini bread back on the warmers and still be golden. So... Next one, pretzel rack. Pretzel rack is cinnamon, pretzels, and vanilla icing. This one was basically just a pretzel rod kind of scent. It was a good one. This one, another one that I will definitely purchase again, and it's Uncle Tom's Cabin. This is key lime, lemon curd, and birthday cake, and it's heaven. Yep, I can still smell it. Oh, it is so good, but you know I absolutely love citrus blends. There's something about citrus blends. They're my favorite kind of fruit blend. I don't know. It, it just, they speak to me. I love citrus blends. So that one, Uncle Tom's Cabin, a definite repurchase. Next one, which was delightful, huckleberry zucchini. Not near as good as elderberry zucchini. This is zucchini, sugar, and huckleberries. It was still really good, but elderberry definitely takes the cake when it comes to that one. Now, my absolute ride or die favorite blueberry is Smurfs in the Kitchen. This one I will continue purchasing for decades if she pours it. It's blueberries, marshmallow, so it's blueberry with her in the kitchen, which is marshmallow cookies, birthday cake, Twinkies, and vanilla fudge butter. And it is my absolute favorite blueberry blend of any vendor hands down the best blueberry ever so and I love a good blueberry now <laughs> well it is so funny I said that's my best blueberry now I'm doing second in spruce um and it's a blueberry blend um it's all her wax is very very soft so I cut it up and put it in here um it's blueberry muffin honey corn bread and a hint of cream and I ripped it open on accident. It was a good blueberry. Um, all of Erica's wax is fantastic. It's not Smurfs in the Kitchen. So while it is a very good blueberry, blueberry muffin is a different oil, I think, than blueberry. Because, excuse me, anything that I see blueberry muffin in, um, I don't like near as well as just straight up blueberry. So it was good, just not my Smurfs in the Kitchen. So that's what I got through. Um, two and a half weeks, three weeks, whatever it's been. Um, I'm not good at doing these weekly. 
I mean, this video is 20 minutes and that's how fast I go through things. Ashley is so much better when it comes to describing the feel and the scent and all that. She's so much better at it than I am. I just basically want to show you what I've been warming and point out the ones that I think you should try. So we all are a little different, but um, last time I did this video, oh, I uh, know I don't know because I marked it on the second, but it's because I keep a calendar. But um, anyway, it's been a while. So that's what I got through. Um, next month, I am transitioning um, away from my Sassy Girl Aroma. I've got it manageable. There's still at least two months worth of wax in it, but it is manageable. Um, what's not manageable right now is my vendor clamshells. So that includes um, K's Sugar Super Tart. Sorry, K's Super Tarts. I might have a Zaper 2 in there. Um, destination wax, any of the clamshell size. Um, I that's what I'm going to be focusing on for maybe the next month or two, depending on how I can get my clamshells down into a more manageable workload. So I've really cut back on my vendor buying, as we all, I'm well, as, as you guys know. I haven't cut back on my Sensi, but I cut back on my vendor. And so I'm really trying to reduce the quantity that I have in my collection. So anyway, um, stay tuned then for what I've got going on in the clamshells. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.